Hello and welcome to your daily reading for Friday the 21st of September 2018. My name is Alexandra and I'm very happy to make those readings for you and for me. <laughs> it's still summer but I think and I feel and I know these are the last days of summer here where I live uh, and autumn is gonna come on Saturday here, which is very close to astronomical autumn that begins on the 23rd of September, very early in the morning, Central European time. <laughs> okay, but let's focus on energies for Friday, the 23rd of September 2018. I'm using the Zilli Tarot. Uh, that I got very accustomed to and I love it and I still don't want to change it. So let's look, let's look. What are the energies, what are the messages from the source for us for this day? What do we need to see? I think I'm going to choose cards again. Three cards. And the first one. Second one, and the third. Right, Princess of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I love her. It's funny because you know I have a I have a new dog. I have a puppy. She's sleeping right beside my feet, and uh, the colleague of mine. I asked him to uh, pull some tarot cards for her and for my um, for the other dog I already have. That is, uh, it, he's not old, but he's not uh, ni neither he's young. He's uh, he's eight, I think, eight years old. How uh, how will they go along together? And she, the young dog. Uh, whose name is Kira, by the way. She appeared as Princess of Swords. So, <laughs> it can be her day for me. Let's look what's there for us. We have the Magus, the Princess of Wands and the Hermit. Finally, the Hermit. I was I was waiting for the Hermit to appear in, in the readings uh, because we have uh, Virgo time. It's Virgo time. And Virgo... Uh, the, the major arcana of Virgo is, is the Hermit. Sorry, I need to readjust the camera. I hope it's okay now. So, the Hermit is quite different. I absolutely adore this card. Look at this. He's like hovering above some... It can be a desert, it can be a city. But he's definitely above this. And he's looking down and he sees everything. And I think he understands in his medit meditative pose um, position. There's deep understanding here and seeing the whole. I love the lines in this deck. Look at look at the, the circle here. There's a full circle here. So there's wholeness to this card. You can also see the circle in the Magus. So we have uh, two major arcanas and one minor arcana. And the first one is Magus. There are also circles here, as you can see. Uh, he also has this hovering energy um, above his hand and the symbol of infinity above his head. And he's very focused on creating here. And uh, the fruit of, of his creation is already visible in his uh, other hand. So it's not only about... Uh, I have a feeling I'm seeing this card for the first time, which is not true because I, I've seen it before, but now I understand it deeper. Because the whole process of creation is depicted here. You can see this uh, very mysterious symbol above his head hand and the rose 
that is a concept of a rose, I think. But as he is connected with the universe, he creates the rose itself. Or it can be the other way. The universe created the rose and now, by tapping to the power of the universe, he's creating the one that is similar but also quite different. So he's like copying or mimicking or, you know, adding something to the ideal of the rose and creating another rose. Generally, the Magus is about the power of creating your life as you want it. It's about will. This card is about will, the will to live the will to create your life the way you want it to be. He's got all the tools, you know, a wand, a sword, a cup and a pentacle. So all the, all the elements are present here and energy that enables creation. Beautiful. To add even more energy to, to, to this picture, we have Princess of Wands, which is one of the most enthusiastic cards in the tarot. I wonder what did, what did they uh, write about the Princess of Wands uh, in the little white book, booklet. Princess of Wands, let me let me check. I know the general meanings, but um, sometimes those uh, those booklets add a very specific meaning. Earth of Fire, of course, this is the earthy, earth, earthy a part of fire, and earth and fire like each other, that they attract each other. An exceptional girl walks through blazing flames past a screaming monster. At the tip of her stave glimmers a burning sunflower, hot like a sun. This card is about courage, optimism, passion and power. However, such joyful feelings are at times unsteady and at times only superficial. But yeah, we have uh, courage, optimism, passion and power. We also have power here. Magus is also a very successful card. And they both have uh, these flowers in, in their hands, uh, blossoming and, and uh, shining in a way. So I think out of your creativity and success comes great joy and great power. And you move. Which way does she move, I wonder? Because she looks at the hermit, but she moves towards the magus. So it can be you, it can be us. Using our creating, create, uh, creative forces, but also looking at the deeper level, at the deeper, deeper meaning. I think that's why she looks this way. She looks at the hermit. So it's this look is here to remind us that when we create this card can also be about uh, cunning you know and uh, being smart in perhaps not a very positive way it can be cunning so it seems that the hermit is here to remind us that whatever we do, whatever we create here, we should always look at our higher beliefs, at our higher ideals. Because the hermit is the one who understands who she, he is and who have seen the light within. For me, the hermit is a beautiful card of searching or of finding the inner light. That is the source itself, the higher power, whatever you call it, the God, the universe. And the hermit, here he doesn't have a lantern, but in most decks he has a lantern and he casts ray of lights on his way. 
And this is the inner light that enables us to move forward in our lives. I love this card because it tells about searching for or finding this inner room where the light is always shining like a candle, like a candle here. It's always there. And once you find it, you know it's there. And it makes, well, at least for me, it makes life so much more easy. Knowing that even if I feel lost, even if I lose my track for a while, I still know there's this room within me where the light is shining. And that's the hermit. That's why it appears here. To bring us back to what's most important and to what's sacred in our nature. So whatever you create, you can always look back at the hermit, at the most important and sacred light within you. To sum up, a very creative day, but with a pinch of reflection. And I love it. <laughs> I wish you a very fruitful Friday and I hope I see you tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.